Hey guys, Dave here. So I thought I'd share with you just a couple of things that I've gotten in. Not too much this week. Um, one of the things I was hoping was going to be here that I was eagerly, eagerly anticipating uh, did not show up, so it'll probably be here Monday. Uh, something that I found that I cannot wait to uh, share. And then there's also three items that uh, are not included with this because I want to do a separate video on them by themselves. Um, so anyways, first, uh, first up, in no particular order, uh, I did pick up this uh, Dark Tonto from uh, Dell, Dirty Room Knives. It uh, is a prototype. I had contacted him about a 4-inch uh, blade, 4-inch handle Tonto. And uh, he said he already had this design kind of in his mind of uh, what he wanted to do. And so he was already in the process of making it. And actually, I think it was like the very next day or, or two days later that uh, he had shown this in a video. And so I uh, could not be happier. He, you know, I contacted him and asked him what he was going to do with it because he said it was a prototype he didn't know. And then he decided that he was just going to uh, go ahead and sell it just without a sheath or anything. It came with this paper sheath, you know. So... No big deal. I uh, didn't come with the stickers like usual. Um, you know, threw the stickers in, but you know, that's cool. I love, I love the, especially the dark place one. This, uh, the ventilator one cracks me up. It's hilarious. So O1 uh, tool, O1 tool steel. Sorry, at 6061 HRC, and a prototype done on June 3rd, 2013. So. The, but my thinking behind, yeah, the 4-inch, I had actually contacted Georgia GI Customs as well about a 4-and-4 four four, uh, Tonto. And uh, this is what uh, Dell come up with. It's actually 9 inches long, and if you measure it right here to the end of the uh, stone wash where my, where my thumb is at right here, uh, it's almost dead even at 4 and a half, 4 and a half, 4 and a half inch blade, 4 and a half inch handle. So uh, definitely something I wanted to snag, and it was definitely the right price for a uh, custom or a prototype, whatever you want to call it, but, uh, you know, custom prototype. So uh, anyways, the, uh, yeah, I could not be more impressed. The handle, I was actually planning, you know, when I first saw it, I was actually planning on cutting this off and uh, rewrapping it myself. And when it showed up, it was, it was, I like it a lot, so I'm not changing a thing about it. And I'm probably going to send it off and have a sheet done for it, so... Uh, anyways, just, yeah, feels great in the hand. Uh, love the swedge, even though it does not run the full length. Obviously, it's a good penetrator anyways, and not a severe Tonto. You know, it does drop down, uh, you know, fairly dramatically, but uh, this is what he uh, came up with, and that's why it is a prototype. So, you know, why keep stuff around if you don't really want it? But one of the things that I did like a lot is that when I got it in reverse this little ramp this contouring that he's done with this ramp for the thumb it just it's just got a perfect spot right there for you to rest your thumb on the back of it and i just absolutely love it and then in in forward position you have a perfect little striker right there just to uh you know smack somebody in the nose with or on top of the head or break glass or whatever it happens to be so it's a sweet score it was a great price and uh yeah i jumped at the chance to uh pick it up so thank you, bud. I appreciate that. The other day, him and I were joking around on uh, on Instagram. He had, uh, you know, somebody had liked a whole bunch of his pictures. And what you do is, you know, you copy and paste that picture. And then you post it again as saying, thank you very much. You know, appreciate all the likes. And I, and I, I was joking with him. I said, oh, yeah, whatever. Forget all the likes. I said, you know, what we need is more cowbell. And, you know, everybody knows the joke behind Christopher Walken. You know, what we need is more cowbell. So I opened up the mailbox today. <laughs> And of course, I just drop it. I open up the mailbox today, and I think it's come off actually. But I get this note in the mail, and uh, what's on it is the smiley face and uh, more cowbell. So that is the uh, depravity that is the sense of humor of uh, Dell at Dirty Room Knives. So that really uh, cracks me up, man. That is hilarious. So he sent me some more cowbell because that's you know what we need, obviously. So, uh, yeah, or at least what I told them I needed. So, yeah, that is just classic, man. Thank you. I just got it out of the mailbox not like 10 minutes ago. So I thought I would uh, share that. But, yeah, Clyde, this is all that was in there. A piece of paper with more cowbell and a pretty evil-looking grin on it. So I thought, thought I would share that. That is too funny, man. I laughed so hard when I pulled that out of the envelope. I thought it was hilarious. So now I've got more cowbell, and I'm much better. Uh... 
Next up, I got uh, more of those titanium beads. I told you guys I had had some more on order. So I got two green ones right there, and then I got two blue ones, and then two more of the uh, copper or bronze anodized. Just a steal on these titanium beads. They're great for lanyards if, you know, you want to make them or whatever else. You know, you could use them for a lot of things, zipper pulls, whatever. But, uh, you know, just a steal for titanium, and then they're already anodized beads. Uh, yeah, I know other people have you know beads that are a fortune, and uh, I got I got these for like fifty bucks for all six, and that's you know what eight something per bead. So that's just I mean that includes shipping and everything. That's just too good to pass up. So I absolutely jumped at the chance to get more, and and now I've got twelve, and that's probably good enough. So I got those beads. I did pick up a couple more. I've kind of been searching out Crusader, uh, I mean uh, Steel Flame tags, and I did pick up two more. I got the uh, Crusader Warrior. That's the Crusader Warrior tag. And then I picked up the uh, whatever, Fighting Lion or whatever you call it. The one I'm really looking for is the Goat. But, you know, I mean, I'll take any. I don't really care. I'm just looking around for them. But I did pick up a couple more of these, and they are really sweet. So, picked those two up this week. And then uh, the other night I was searching around on eBay, just goofing off, looking around, really not, I don't do too much on eBay that much anymore because their fees have gotten so ridiculous and out of whack. But, uh, you know, as for selling and everything. But um, there was a, I'd been looking for a skirmish for a while, Benchmade skirmish, and one came up that was kind of, uh, you know, unique to me. And uh, because I've been looking for one, there was a couple things that I didn't want when it came to the skirmish. And I was not a big fan of the multicolored anodized dots and everything like that. So the guy had posted that he had one that was um, mayonized or, you know, Tom Mayo type. So I picked this up. I, I submitted an offer and he accepted my offer. And I picked this up. And so the holes basically have been drilled out and uh, finished very well. And then also um, he has done this kind of a dark stone wash to the titanium. And then uh, on top of that, on the blade, he has stone washed the grind and everything up on top the swedge and the lower. And then the flats are still satin finish here. So just a tank of a knife. I've always wanted to get one. I uh, had a chance to get one a while back and I passed on it just because of at the time I didn't you know didn't have the funds uh, spending so much so I just passed on it which I you know I kicked myself but it all works out in the end I got one that I really like a lot and uh, could not be happier to uh, get this but yeah just sweet looking absolutely sweet love how this looks just a sweet knife man bench made skirmish so snag that and then uh, last but not least, this is a knife that uh, my buddy Good Climbing, uh, Bob, had sent me. He wanted me, uh, he said he was going to be selling some more knives and uh, sent me an email saying that uh, if I was interested in any of them to let me know. And as soon as I saw this, Predator by uh, Brad Blunt and uh, Alpha Hunter Tactical, I uh, absolutely said, yeah, send that to me. I want to take a look at it. Uh, I know Sebastian uh, scored one at Blade. Uh, from Brad and uh, it was just one of those deals where or he got it. Yeah, he I don't know I think he got it from Brad, but anyways, he uh, he's already done a video on this the knife is just amazing and uh, Carried this today, and I'm definitely gonna be buying it. It's just uh, too good a knife to uh, pass up uh, One you know 187 on everything 0.187 tie 0.187 in 690 steel Love this little thumb ramp on it. Just absolutely just fits my hand perfectly. The handle right here where it pokes out, it doesn't fit, you know, my wider grip so well, but it will it's good enough. And the uh reverse grip on this thing is just awesome. Absolutely love this reverse grip. So uh and I love that, of course I love that, you know, Warncliffe style blade. The one thing I wish the maybe the blade was a, maybe an eighth of an inch taller. Uh, it's about one and an eighth tall, so, uh, you know, kind of a longer skinny blade, but also a heck of a, you know, dirty slicer, and, you know, if you wanted to, you could add a switch to it, and it would just be a nasty penetrator, and, I mean, this knife is just nasty. I absolutely love it. JB Blunt, Alpha Hunter Tactical. His uh, thing is, uh, Brad's website, I think, is uh, jbbknives.com, I think is what it is, and Alpha Hunter Tactical Design, of course. So, uh, 
Yeah, when he had bought this, you know, I knew he wasn't a big Warncliffe fan, so, you know, I'm not saying that I thought it was going to be for sale, but, you know, I know that he's not a big fan of Warncliffe's, uh, but he was definitely a fan of the knife and, of course, the way that it looked. So, one of the things I can't get over is, is this right here, how, even though that is so narrow and so snug, that blade fits in there absolutely dead center perfect. If you can see that, that is... It just, it's so close to both sides of the tie and yet it's dead center perfect and this thing just rockets out. It is just, I can see why people love Brad's knives. Uh, the, you know, obviously this is a collaboration. Um, Brad has other knives. I have two of his uh, large surge flippers um, on order. And uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait to get those. But uh, yeah, this is definitely a keeper. We're gonna work out some type of deal and I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely keeping this. This thing is just nasty. So uh, yeah, just another alpha hunter. <laughs> uh, he was even joking with me earlier today that, you know, it's like, yeah, I can carry the A10 Alpha or well, either one of my A10 Alphas, I have two. I have the prototype and then I have number one. And then uh, what's it called? I have my uh, two Namors and, and now this. So yeah, I could not be happier. Uh, and so thanks a lot for sending me this, bud. Really appreciate you, man. I'm going to give you a shout uh, just so I can say what's up because I haven't talked to you for a few days. So anyways, uh, but thank you, man, for sending this to me. This thing is absolutely amazing. What a great knife. So that's it. That is everything. That is uh, everything that I've gotten. Well, I mean, besides the, uh, yeah, the knives that I'm going to share. Separate video. Separate video for sure. So the uh, Dark Tonto, the couple Steel Flame tags, some tie beads the uh, skirmish and then the uh, predator so uh, I was hoping another knife was going to be here and it just did not get here on time so obviously it'll be here on Monday it was a knife that I've been looking for for a while and uh, I was actually able to uh, make an offer and get it and so I can't wait to get that another fixed blade just what I need so <laughs> anyways I uh, hope everybody's enjoying their weekend I'm going to start uploading this and I'm going to kick back and relax for a while so I'll talk to you guys uh, maybe tomorrow for the uh, other video